next grammar point is expressing the phrase should have and must in Hindi. In previous grammar points, we learned how to express the English construction with should, such as I should go, mujhe jana chahiye, you should study, tumko padna chahiye, we should leave early, humko pehle nikalna chahiye, the kids should go to sleep, bachon ko so jana chahiye. Keep in mind that with chahiye, the subject always takes the postposition ko. The phrase should have in English is the past tense of should. The English phrase should have would be the past tense of the phrase chahiye in Hindi. To make the should have construction, we need to simply add past tense of the verb hona, that is tha, the, thi, thi, to the Hindi phrase chahiye. And always remember, with chahiye, the subject takes the postposition ko. Let's take some examples of the should have type construction in the past tense of chahiye. I should have gone, mujhe jana chahiye tha. You should have studied, tumko padna chahiye tha. We should have left earlier, humko pehle nikalna chahiye tha. The kids should have gone to sleep, bachon ko so jana chahiye tha. Apart from chahiye that expresses should or should have, there are some more compulsion constructions in Hindi. There is a mild compulsion construction which can be translated as have to or must. It expresses a mild internal obligation or compulsion. In this construction, the subject takes the postposition ko and the helping verb hona is in its simple form such as ha, tha, hoga, depending on the tense present, past or future. Let's take some examples. Mujhe jana hai, I have to go, I must go. Bhai ko kal ghar ana tha. Brother had to come home yesterday. Hame pariksha ke liye bahut padna hoga. We'll have to study a lot for the exam. The first sentence shows the obligation in the present tense, so the verb is in present tense, ha. The second sentence shows the obligation in the past tense, so the verb is in the past tense, tha. And the last one has the obligation in future tense with the future form of the verb hona, that is hoga. There is another type of compulsion, a strong external compulsion. The strong external compulsion is expressed in the verb padna. Just like the other two compulsion constructions, here too the subject goes with the postposition ko and padna is the verb that expresses the compulsion. Here you need to have another verb to show what action is being compelled. The verb padna is conjugated, that means change for gender, number and tense. Let's take some examples. Bete tumko ye khana padega. Son, you will have to eat it. Here you can see the subject is with the postposition ko, tumko, and padna is in future tense. That's why you will have to eat the future tense in English. Mujhe roz baje utna padta hai. I have to get up at six every day. Here the verb padna is in present habitual tense, padta hai. That means the compulsion is regular and it happens habitually. Use ghar saaf karna pad raha hai. Now he must clean the house. In the precise translation, he is being forced to clean the house. In this sentence, the verb padna is in present continuous. The compulsion is expressed in the continuous tense, pad raha hai. It means he is being forced to do something, cleaning the house in this case. Use ghar saaf karna pad raha hai. Pitaji ko shanivar ko bhi kaam par jana pada. Father had to go to work even on Saturday. The verb here is in past tense, rather simple past tense, that's why pada. In compulsion constructions, since the subject takes the postposition ko, that means it will not dictate the verb. The verb is dictated by the object, if there is one. If there is no object, the verb will take masculine singular form. So far, all the sentences we took did not have an object. That's why they were all in masculine singular form. Here you can see, khana padega, utna padta hai, karna pad raha hai, jana pada. The verb form in all these examples are masculine singular. Let's now take the sentences with the grammatical object. The verb form in this case will be dictated by the number and gender of the object. And you already know that the subject will take the postposition ko. Here is the formula for all compulsion constructions, how to express different types of compulsion constructions. In all types of constr compulsion construction, the subject takes the postposition ko, then comes the direct object, then you have the main verb of the sentence, and at the end you have the compulsion phrase or the verb, chahiye, hona, or padna. Aapko kitab padni chahiye, you should read the book. Kitab, the book is the object here, and it will dictate the verb. 
किताब इज फैमिली सिंगुलर सो इट विल टेक द फैमिली सिंगुलर फॉर्म पढ़ने मुझे मकान खरीदना था आई हैव टू बाय हाउस मकान हाउस इज अ मास्कुल सिंगुलर दैट्स वाई इट विल टेक द मास्कुल सिंगुलर फॉर्म खरीदना लड़के को कई मैच खेलने पड़ेंगे द बॉय विल हैव टू प्ले मैनी मैचेस कई मैच इज मैनी मैचेस द मास्कुल प्लूरल फॉर्म दैट्स वाई द वर्ब फॉर्म खेलने इज मास्कुल प्लूरल एंड द फ्यूचर टेंस ऑफ द वर्ब पढ़ना इज ऑल्सो इन मास्कुल प्लूरल फॉर्म पढ़ेंगे हिज री कैल द सब्जेक्ट टेक्स द पोस्ट पोजिशन को आपको मुझको मुझे लड़के को द मेन वर्ब इज डिक्टेटेड बाई द ऑब्जेक्ट इन नंबर एंड जेंडर किताब अ बुक फैमिली सिंगुलर दैट्स वाई पढ़नी मकान हाउस इज मास्कुल सिंगुलर दैट्स वाई खरीदना एंड कई मैच इज मैनी मैच इज मास्कुल प्लूरल दैट्स वाई खेलना इन द सेकेंड सेंटेंस द मकान इज मास्कुल सिंगुलर दैट्स वाई द कंपल्शन वर्ब फॉर्म इज ऑल्सो इन मास्कुल सिंगुलर दैट इज था In the third sentence, "kai match" is masculine plural. That's why the compulsion verb is in masculine plural. Padenge. Let's take some example sentences with all types of compulsion constructions. Usko shadi karni padegi. He will have to get married. The object here is shadi, marriage, wedding, and it is feminine singular. That's why karni padegi. Chhatron ko padna hai. The students must study. There is no object here, so the verb is masculine singular. तुमको ये किताब पढ़नी चाहिए थी. You should have read the book. The object किताब here is feminine. That's why पढ़नी चाहिए थी. The feminine form. तुमको ये उपन्यास पढ़ना चाहिए था. You should have read the novel. The object उपन्यास the novel is masculine singular. That's why पढ़ना चाहिए था. The masculine singular form. So किताब is feminine, so पढ़नी चाहिए थी. And उपन्यास is masculine, so पढ़ना चाहिए था मुझे उससे चाबियां लेनी है आई हैव टू टेक कीज फ्रॉम हिम इन दिस सेंटेंस द ऑब्जेक्ट इज चाबियां की इज फेमिन प्लूरल द वर्ब फॉर्म विल टेक फेमिन प्लूरल फॉर्म लेनी है